Okay, I've been involved with the crop circle investigation since 1992. When I first went to England, the very first time, and I was into my first crop circle at that time with Alex Bartholomew, my English publisher, I knew about crop circles before then through the UFO conference that I was helping put on here in the States. But uh, hey, I'm not going to go into the history of it because most of you probably know that. But it was in the early 90s, end of the 80s and early 90s is when the designs began to get more complex. Before that, it was just like simple circles. Then a, a few years later, circles within circles. And then it began to get designs. About the end of the 80s, by the time I went over to England in 1992, I've investigated the crop circles many, many years, and I know all of the investigators in the field. And it is a fascinating field. Lucy Pringle, particularly, is the one who flies over the crop circles and they take photographs of them. So she has a long history of investigating them. Incidentally, she's going to be one of our speakers at our transformation conference in London that we're going to be putting on in September. So I guess she'll be showing some of the pictures she's taken over the years. But I think you mostly wanted me to talk about uh, the circles, how they were formed, and what they're supposed to represent. There's been a lot of tales about people making these circles. But the ones I've seen, I know, could not possibly have been made by any human being. They're too complex, and they would have had to have had hours and hours and hours to even attempt them. The ones I've seen will be formed in a matter of minutes. Even Lucy Pringle said when she would fly over one place, there wouldn't be anything there, and she'd fly back over five minutes later, and then there'd be a whole design there in the, the wheat or whatever kind of grain they were in. But what I found in my work is the real ones are not made by people. I've been in some that were faked and you can really tell the difference. Anything made by man is sloppy. These are, the real ones are very perfect and very exact, geometrically exact. The real ones, what I've found, are made with energy. This is the reason why no one has really ever seen anyone uh, making a real crop circle because they, can, they won't. There's not people involved. It's done with energy. They even set up motion detector and infrared lights around one field an entire night hoping to catch anybody if they were in that field trying to make a crop circle. By the next morning, they said during the night a fog settled over the field, but by the next morning, there was a crop circle, and the motion detectors and the infrared didn't pick up anything. So what I found is they are made by energy. Some of them are beautiful, complex designs, and over the years I've seen them getting more and more complex. Because what I've found is that the crop circles are a language. Now, with our subconscious mind, recognizes symbols. Symbols are very, very old. They go way, way back before mankind even had language, before they had words, they had symbols. And these symbols are so extremely old that the subconscious mind recognizes them knows what they mean. So most of the crop circles you'll see will have an embedded message in them. It is a language. And it's a language that your mind understands. Because concepts, symbols, can contain blocks and blocks of information. Where we have to communicate with one word after the other, one sentence after the other, that's not the way the ETs and the other beings out there, the light beings, all of those don't communicate that way. They communicate in concepts. So an entire concept can be in one symbol. So when your mind sees it, it is seeing an entire huge block of information. And they explained this to me by saying, for instance, 
when you see the word Xmas, X-M-A-S, they say, what do you think of? You think of Christmas, but it's more than that. It also, you also think of uh, Christmas trees, Santa Claus, the Christ child, uh, presents, red and green, jingle bells, uh, hymns. You can call, write a whole page or more of what that one word conjures up in your mind. That's what I mean. There are many, many more of these in our language where one symbol will convey a whole block of information if you really think about it. So this is how they communicate to us, by putting blocks of information into one symbol. And this is conveyed into the subconscious mind on the cellular level. Entire blocks of information are, are transferred to the cellular level of the mind by these, just by seeing the symbol. Now you don't have to be in the crop circle to have the information even though it's really a very wonderful energy to be inside the crop circle, it's very peaceful and very beautiful, but you don't have to be in the crop circle to get the information. All you have to do is see the symbol. So they're taking pictures of these and they're being circulated all around the world. They have been now for over 20 years. So anyone who sees these symbols they get the information conveyed into their mind on the cellular level. And I've asked them, well, then what do we do with this information? They said, it's tucked away in that part of your mind, and you don't even know it's there. But whenever the time is coming, and it, we are in that stage now, when the time is coming when we're going to need that information, it is like downloaded. And we have the information we need, and we won't even know where it came from. Because it's been implanted in the, the subconscious part of the mind at the cellular level. And I get emails and letters from all over the world, or people who for the last 20 years have felt the compulsion to sit and draw strange symbols. And they don't know where that compulsion comes from spend hours just drawing symbols. Other ones say they're laying on a couch at night in front of a window and a beam of light will come through the window directed right at their head. And in that beam of light, they see all these geometric symbols. So they want to know what's happening there. The same thing is happening. Geometry, numbers are a language also. So all of this is being transferred into the subconscious mind on the cellular level to be there when we need it during this time of transition we're going through. And when we need it, it's going to be there and we won't even know where it came from. People say, well, I want to understand it. I want to know what it means. You're not supposed to know what it means at this point. But that's what I found. The crop circles are a language that are being conveyed to us tremendous blocks of information. There's nothing negative about them at all. It's all positive.